On top of that, we're seeing a major spike in dangerous driving habits and deaths on Utah roads, so much so that troopers and UDOT are calling for changes. Just this morning, an out-of-control truck hit a construction worker who is now in critical condition. The special Stan Rascone covering this story and breaks down the concerning jump and crashes. Yes, everything from speeding over 100 miles an hour to aggressive driving to reckless driving to wrong way driving. All of these have seen a huge increase and it's resulting in more deaths out here on Utah roads. He's in very critical condition currently. The aftermath of a terrible accident, a construction worker putting up orange barrels is suddenly hit by this out of control pickup truck that shot across the median into the other lanes along SR-201. The driver telling troopers he was not prepared when traffic slowed. Um, unfortunately, in this situation, he didn't have enough time to stop, which uh, ended up uh, losing control of his truck. Just one more crash. That's a very, very dangerous combination. Being added yeah. to a huge spike. The five-year high. In um, dangerous road behaviors on Utah roads. We're going to be closer to a 6,000 range. Which seemed to have all started cars, yeah. when the pandemic hit. Uh, across the board, some really scary driving behaviors. Since the first of the year, in four short months, 15 wrong way crashes, 220 aggressive driving crashes, 300 reckless driving crashes, nearly 2,000 tickets for speeds over 100 miles per hour, 14 cases of brandishing a weapon at police, and already 88 deaths. If these trends keep up, the final year in total will surpass 2020 and 2021 numbers. You almost went off into the dirt. Troopers say they're doing all they can to combat the problem. I see a car that came into the closed lane. Even risking their own lives to crash a patrol car into wrong way drivers. But they say... We can't do it alone. We have to work with the public, and the public's got to do their part. We've got to make sure that we're driving courteous, driving the speed limit, and just following the law. UDOT also asking drivers to pay attention and have more patience. It really underscores the importance for all of us to to make sure that we're putting away distractions, make sure that we're, we're following the speed limit. Especially when it comes to construction workers. They're really at the mercy of, of people doing the right thing. Doing the right thing. That's exactly what you, Dot, and troopers are hoping drivers will do to bring those deaths down out here on Utah roads. I'm Dan Rascone for KSL 5 News.